Hey guys, it's Sven. In this video we will get the feed forward process to work properly. In the last video we already created the feed forward method in Java, but the output was 0 0.5 at every neon. And the reason for this was that our wakes and our bias array has been initialized, but the initial wakes are zero. And when we run our calculate method, it um, takes the sum, and the sum is increased by the output and uh, times the connected wake. And um, if the wake is equal to zero, the sum will not be increased at all because it's uh, being. Uh, we're going to add zero to the sum, so our sum will be zero at the end as well. And our sigmoid function of zero is zero point five, so the output of every neon except the neons in the input layer are going to be zero point five, and uh, this means that um, our output will be zero point five no matter what our input is. So. Um, what we want to do in this video is we are going to initialize the wakes and the bias array completely random. And for doing so, I created a new class. I call it Network Tools. And I'm not going to code the uh, content of this class with you because um, there's not a lot to see. It's not important for understanding how uh, our uh, new network works. But I'm just going to give you these. Um, I'm, I'm just going to give you this class because it would be boring to program this. I'm just going to explain what each method does. So we got to create array method, and it's pretty straightforward. It just returns an array and an, in, and an initial weight, um, initial value. So um, every value in our array will be the initial value. Then we got the create random array method. It pretty much does the same, but each value in our array will be randomly chosen between the lower and the upper bound. Then we got the create random array method again, but in this case it returns um, an array with two dimensions, and we got the size x and the size y in this case, and again the lower and the upper bound. Uh, then we got the random value method. It's being used by the create random array method, and it just returns a uh, value between uh, the lower and the upper bound. Uh, then we got a method uh, called random values, and um, the special thing about this is that it returns an integer array and each uh, value um, can never be twice in this array. So we're having a lower and an upper bound and each value in our integer array will be in between and we um, got the amount of um, data as well but no uh, value can be um, found twice in our array. Then we got the contains value method and it simply checks if um, we're going to give an array of any data type. Uh, if you haven't seen generics before, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to understand this. You're just uh, able to give any kind of array. For example, num um, it works with any numbers array or any comparable um, data type. And we're going to give um, the data type as well. Uh, the, um, we're going to give some data or any value, and it checks if the um, data is contained in our array. Then we got the index of our highest value. Um, this just checks the index of the highest value in our double array. Um, this will be used later when we work with the MNIST data set, but um, this will take a while to get there. So uh, what we want to do now is we're going to use the create random array method for initializing our wakes and our bias array. So we're going back to our network class, and um, I'm, going, I'm just going to copy this one. And um, this dot bias at i is not equal to a new double array of our network layer size. We're just going to call network tools dot create random array, um, and our size is equal to the network layer sizes again. And I'm just going to use some random values. Um, I would say maybe 0 0.3 and 0 0.7. It absolutely does not matter right now. Um, some reason, yeah, it's at i network layer. So add that specific layer. No, nope, not. Um, oh, it's not create array. It's create random array. Um, and this is absolutely the same as just um, writing this, except the wakes are um, initialized. Um, in between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7, and not equal to zero. And we're going to do the same with the uh, wakes array. So 
Um, I'm just going to copy this. And the wakes is equal to uh, network tools dot create random array, and we got the network um, layer sizes at i again, and the network layer sizes at i minus one as the y parameter, and uh, our bounds will be I don't know. We can just set them to actually we can make them negative and positive, so something like this. And um, doesn't work for some reason. Why doesn't this work? Um, oh yeah. And yeah, this this should hopefully work. We can uh, remove the um, we can remove this and this part because it's unnecessary right now. And if we run this, we should not have any error in our code. Oh yeah, we do. Um, like this. So if I run this, uh, this should hopefully return something except 0 0.5. And yes, it does. So we got some values. Um, they're pretty clo close to each other, but, but that does not matter. Um, they are completely random. And if we run this code again, they should be random again. Yep, it works. So um, this was actually it for this video. The network tool stuff can be done in the description. And if you have any questions, just ask me in the comment section. And I hope to see you in the next video.